This is a guide on replacing the LCD on the Apple iPhone 4S. Tools you will need are a pentalope screwdriver, a SIM removal tool or a paper clip, a Phillips screwdriver, and a flat pick or a screwdriver. Go ahead and shut down the phone by holding the power button at the top and confirming the shutdown on screen. Remove the SIM card tray using the paper clip. Then remove the two bottom pentalope screws on each side of the docking connector. Flip the phone over and remove the back cover by sliding it up a few millimeters, then pulling it away from the device. At this point, we highly recommend that you download and print out the screw map provided for this tutorial in the video's description. Once you're ready, proceed with this assembly. We recommend disconnecting the battery immediately by removing the two screws holding the battery connector in place, then picking the connector open with a flat screwdriver. Watch out for the grounding piece mounted to the battery connector. It will pop out as soon as the battery connector is lifted. You will need to keep it and put it back in place when reassembling the device. Caution, the battery is glued in place very well. Be careful when removing it. We recommend using a wide tool like a putty knife to pry out the battery while pulling on the provided battery tab. Once the battery is out, proceed on removing the two screws holding the middle EM shield in place. Remove the middle EM shield. Then, remove five screws from the top EM shield. Place each screw in its specific position on the screw map, as most of them are unique and it is important to keep track of their position. Disconnect the middle connector and very gently pull the ribbon cable away from the logic board. Remove the two speaker box screws and disconnect the Wi-Fi antenna connector from the logic board. Gently remove the speaker box and set it aside. At this point, you can also remove the top EM shield. Please note, it has a hook at the bottom, so it's best to push it down gently when you are lifting it out. Remove the rear-facing camera by gently picking the camera's connector off the logic board. Then gently pick open another five connectors from the logic board. Remove another grounding piece, which is covering the cellular antenna connector. Proceed on removing the logic board screws. The bottom right corner and the top right corner have to be removed with a flat screwdriver. Then, using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the bottom left screw near the vibrating motor. Next, remove the right mid-level logic board screw. The top left screw is usually covered with an insulator. Gently pry open the insulating tape and remove the screw. At this point, the logic board can be removed. Start at the bottom and lift up. Gently rock the logic board side to side to make sure no connectors are getting caught. Set the logic board aside. Now we are able to remove the screws which are responsible for holding the screen in place. There are four small screws in each corner. The top left one is also covered by an insulator so you will need to expose it first. Once the corner screws are removed, proceed on removing the six side screws with washers. There are three screws on each side. In order to remove the last screw, the vibrating motor has to be removed. Gently pick it off by the mounting tab with a flat screwdriver, then reposition the adhesive for reassembly and remove the final screw. In order to remove the screen, we recommend using a putty knife or a pick tool if available. Start from the bottom and once sufficiently separated, the rest of the screen can be pried off by hand. Carefully thread the touch screen and display connectors through the frame and set the old screen aside. If your replacement part does not come with a home button or the speaker grill, you can transfer the original parts onto the new part. Take out the new screen and immediately remove the back protective film. 
thread the display and the touchscreen connectors all the way through the frame, ensuring that both are completely in line with each other. Replace the six side screws, three on each side, making sure that all the washers are in place and secure. Replace the four tiny corner screws. Then replace the vibrating motor back in position. Replace the logic board, ensuring that there are no connectors are getting caught underneath and that all the mounting holes are lining up properly. Secure the top right and bottom right logic board screws with a flat screwdriver. Replace the top left screw, the mid-level right screw, and the bottom left vibrating motor screw. Reconnect all six loose connectors back on the logic board. Each connector will make a distinct click when aligned and plugged in properly. Replace the grounding piece over the sailor antenna. Fold the insulator over the left top logic board screw and replace the rear camera. Replace the speaker box. Please note there is a triangular plastic spreader which goes in near the vibrating motor. It is best to replace it and then replace the two speaker box screws. Reconnect the Wi Fi antenna connector. Replace the top EM shield and secure it with five location specific screws. Reconnect the mid level connector and replace the middle EM shield. Then secure it with two screws. Reinstall the battery, making sure it is properly in place and the connector is aligned. Insert the grounding piece under the battery connector as it is held by the same screw. Replace the mounting screw while keeping the grounding piece properly aligned with a pick or a flat screwdriver. Replace the final battery screw. Then, replace the back cover by aligning a few millimeters at the top and sliding it back in position. Replace the two bottom pantalope screws. At this point, you can test the device by pressing the power button at the top and if the Apple logo appears, remove the protective film from the front of the screen. Shut down the phone. Replace the SIM card tray and you're done.